Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, so what can I say, besides the fact that you guys are just totally awesome, I mean, this has just been an incredible journey for me. Um, yeah, today, uh, over 600 subscribers, I think around 610, something like that. Um, over 60,000 views, and incredibly enough, I have one video that actually has over 13,000 views. I mean, that is just totally insane to me. Um, but of course, I have over 600 subscribers now, and I love to show my appreciation. I mean, you guys are just awesome, and you deserve it. Um, so, of course, how do I do that? Well, that's with a giveaway. And this giveaway is going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, a little while back, I bought myself a key machine, and just before that, I had ordered and bought myself this handheld key cutter here. I'm not sure it says Lishy. L-I-S-H-I, -I, key cutter. Um, yeah, and when I got this, I think I made actually only one cut to a pre-existing key that I had just to make a better bidding um, on a challenge lock that I was making. And that's what this is actually really good for. Um, it will duplicate a key, and that is what I did tonight for the first time. I actually started playing with this, and well, I have this Almont Rekey. You can see I'm, I'm actually... Middle, middle of polishing this thing up but um works very well and I actually tried duplicating this key tonight and um I did I duplicated it but duplicating the key I actually had to take and file a little bit more on a couple of these um a couple of these the bidding here and, and a couple of the like I think four and five I think three too I had to file a little bit but anyways, I did get it to work. So, I mean, it will copy a key, but you will have to do a little bit of work to the key to actually, I think, get it to work. Unless you get real lucky. And when you are doing this, you know, you got to make sure it's really tight in the vise. And each cut, you want to make sure you reline. Oh, sorry, I'm losing focus. You want to make sure you reline everything up after each cut. Because when you cut a cut, it, it can... You can violently cut it sometimes and it'll shift and then you have to make sure you reline it before you make your second cut and um yeah i might have not exactly had it lined up making a couple of the cuts but yeah it did work and i did cut the key and it actually worked but like i said this is actually really good if you're making challenge locks um say if you have a pre-existing key and this one has actually a pretty good bidding but say if you have a really crappy bidding or something like this and you want to make a better bidding for a challenge lock. Um, you can take depth keys if you have them and you can line them up and make a cut or if you have a pre-existing key with some deep cuts like this one here you can um, you can make some cuts that way and actually I'll put this in a vise and I'll give you a demonstration that, and this isn't the vise I use either because it doesn't hold it very well I use my other vise but I will put this in here and um, we will make a cut for you to show you how it makes it and we'll actually make this key into a better bidding than what it is now. I'm going to want to make sure it's really tight in your vise and let me see if I can focus this a little. I'm zooming up a little bit and see if I can focus this in. All right. So, if you want to make a cut, and you want to make it better, sorry, I didn't mean to move that. Make sure you're lined up at the bottom here, and your shoulder is lined up. The shoulders of both keys are lined up perfectly. And, you're going to take this. And this here has some markings on the front. It didn't come with any instructions. Um, let me zoom that up. If you can see that, some of those markings it has on it. Um... Not sure exactly what those are for. I'm sure it's to help you guide and line this up, but like I said, it didn't come in instructions, so I'm not sure exactly how to do it. What you're going to do is you line this up, and you're going to put this in until it drops down into that bidding on this key here. Make sure you're, lined up. you're not tilted or anything. You want to keep this as straight as possible, and then make your cut. No, this key actually has a better bidding on it now. 
So, it's really good for making um, keys for challenge locks and such. Because then if you don't make the cut very perfect, you can always adjust your key pin according to the cut. So, if we actually have a better bidding on this key, I'm probably going to make that into a challenge lock eventually. I'll keep that key now. But yeah, I'm going to be giving away this handheld key cutter. And, well, my good buddy and great friend, Mr. Bill Bacardi, is going to be donating some key blanks for this giveaway. And I'm sure I speak for my subs as, as, as well as myself when I say thank you very much, Bill Bacardi, for that. I mean, we really appreciate that. And that is totally awesome of you. So, yeah, he's going to be donating some key blanks. I believe he's sending those out tomorrow. So I'll have those. And, well, of course, I always give away a challenge lock of mine um, in every giveaway. Um, I have this vintage cor Corbin here, which has an open... Um, and it's just an, a blank open canvas here. No bidding on the key yet. And actually, Mr. Bill Bacardi was one that hooked me up with that key because I didn't have a key for this. I sent that lock out to him. He hooked me up with a nice key for it. And yeah, there's no pins in it or nothing, but I'll be hooking this up as a nice challenge lock for you guys. So I'm going to be giving that away too. So, we'll have some uh, blank keys, nice handheld key cutter, and of course a Bobby Keys challenge lock. And, well, as always, um, only a few stipulations to get in on this giveaway. One is, please hit that like button. Um, two, you must be a subscriber of my channel. And uh, three, you've got to leave a comment in this video down below. This video only, in case I have any updates or anything. I'll be taking the comments from this video only. Um, and unless you comment in this video that you don't want to be in on this giveaway or, you know, something like that. Everybody that comments in this video will be in on this giveaway. I'd love to show my appreciation. Like I said, you guys are just totally awesome. And, um, yeah, I never thought I would reach. 600 subscribers that to me is just insane but um yeah i'm growing um i'm getting more subscribers just about every day and uh yeah i'm having a great time doing it so we're going to keep trying to give you guys good videos i know i haven't put up that many in the last week or so a lot of little problems here at the house but um yeah i'll be putting out more videos so yeah all right guys well that's what I have for this giveaway. Like I said, I love to show my appreciation. You guys are just totally awesome. All my fellow pickers, um, you guys, my subscribers. I mean, you guys are just totally awesome. And I really do appreciate you guys. So, um, yeah, that's my giveaway. So, well, if you like this video, like I said, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, guys, please comment below. And, yeah, everybody that comments below will be in on this giveaway. Unless you say otherwise. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys. And yeah, I'm going to be pulling um, the comments probably for about a week. And um, then we'll do this giveaway. So, alright guys, until the next time, um, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks guys. Bye.